but the living God is among you. There were a lot of gods in that day. There were a lot of, a lot of false gods. The Bible calls them basically just dumb idols, you know, gods that can't speak. They don't have life. They don't have breath. Uh, you don't have to turn there, but in Habakkuk 2, there's, a, there's some good scriptures here. I'll just read it for you. Verse number 18, the Bible says, What profiteth the graven image that the maker thereof hath graven it? The molten image and a teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusteth therein to make dumb idols. <laughs> Woe unto him that saith to the wood, Awake to the dumb stone, arise, and it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it. So he's talking about how stupid it is for people to make objects, literal objects, with wood. And they, and they, and they carve it and engrave it and put gold and silver over it. And then they, and then they talk to it and worship it. Like it's some being. It's like there's no breath in there. It's a dumb idol. It's not going to speak to you. It's not going to do anything for you because it's just some dumb object that's not a god. Yet people do that today with objects. People have idolatry today and still have their special good luck charms and their chants and everything else that they think is going to help them. And it's dumb. It's not going to do you any good. But we do have a living God, a God that's actually alive, that has breath, that has life, that we can go to, that can do miraculous things, that is all-powerful, and His name is the Lord. It says, but the Lord is in His holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before Him. Back to Joshua. I know I didn't have you turn it back, but I just wanted to bring it out. And also in that verse number 10 in Joshua 3, not only is He the living God, it says, and He will without fail drive out from before you. 